Hello everybody, today I am going to put together a little tutorial on how to uh, set up your voxel world with height based um, layers on your landscape material. Kind of what you can see here. <laughs> we've got the beach layer, we've got a grass layer in purple, and then we've got another layer and another layer. Um, so this is what uh, I'm, I'm going to help you try to figure out how to do. Uh, I've just figured out this out myself. I'm absolutely not a pro <laughs> at Unreal. I'm actually, I've only been learning it for about a month. And so, yeah, forgive me if I get anything um, slightly wrong, but I think I'll be able to talk you through the steps. I couldn't find a really good tutorial or any really good reference on how to do this on YouTube. And man, did I search. This has me had me stumped for days, so I thought I'd put together a little bit more of a, a helpful tutorial, hopefully, hopefully, uh, in case anybody else is, you know, stumped with this, kind of like I was, might save you some time, hopefully. Um, all right, let's jump right into it. So number one, you of course have your voxel world. Uh, in your voxel world, what you will need to do is scroll down until you look, find the voxel materials section. Here, you will need to set up a, uh, a multi-index material. And uh, from there, basically what you'll need to do is create a voxel uh, landscape material collection. All right, just like that. Click. When you've done that, you'll have your voxel landscape material collection. This is mine right here. Um, yours, of course, will not have a landscape material yet, uh, but you will need to create a material to use in your voxel landscape material uh, collection. Uh, once you punch that in, well, let's uh, actually take a quick look at this material first because, well, you, you'll need it. <laughs> um, so this is uh, my, you know, just this is my material right here. Uh, I'm, I'm just, you know, studying up. These are all my notes from a course I'm taking right now, just trying to figure out how materials work. Um, but the thing that of importance to you will be this bit here, the layer blend voxel. Um, of course, you hopefully will have an understanding of how landscape material uh, layers work um, but basically if you don't it's basically just setting up layers for each of the you know height levels of your of your landscape material so you know wet sand dry sand you know uh, dirt snow whatever right as you kind of go up you can create whatever layers you want uh, I don't think you need this bit uh, I'm still like I say trying to learn about materials but this bit you do need and just plug that into your base color or, you know, you can <clears throat> kind of set up your material, material however you want, but what you do need is that bit to be that sort of layer blend voxel to plug into your uh, into your material. All right, so from there, you will head back to your voxel landscape material collection, and you will select your material, and then what you will do is you'll start out by having nothing here. It'll just be, like, empty. So you'll just click plus, and I think you'll get an error down here which says something like, this is not a voxel material, something, something, do you want to fix it? And you just click yes or OK or whatever it says to fix it. And when you do, these, the layers that you have set up in your, in your layers right here, oh, no, your layers right here, whatever you have set up there, will then appear here. And now these will have uh, index numbers that are, well, you can, you can, no, you can sign them yourself. I, I typed in what I wanted them to be in sequential order. Uh, so you can probably just do the same. These are important for a little bit later, so uh, these numbers will come to play. Um, in regards to the base material, I'm not entirely sure if you need a base material or not. Uh, it's um, something that I don't plan to use. It's just that zero spot, which may or may not be used. I'm not sure if you need a base that's just kind of like sitting around empty. But I feel like I was having some troubles before I added the base layer in, and once I added the base layer in, things started to work, but I might have just been doing it wrong before that. So you may or may not need a base layer. Uh, <laughs> so, I, you know, if you're just getting started, add that base layer. You're not going to do anything with it. Um, that's kind of your, your do-nothing layer, which you may or may not need. And then, of course, from there, you will do your, you know, layers up from there. Uh, yeah, so you punch in your, you know, landscape and click fix, and then all that appears, and that's good. You can save that. And then we're going to head on over to our voxel graph uh, generator. Okay, so the voxel graph is, in case you haven't created that yet, you probably don't have a landscape at all, um, which is, you know, you've probably gotten that far already, but if not, you would right-click and go to voxel and then go to uh, voxel graph. 
you create your voxel graph here's mine right here voxel graph generator and I just plug that into here under voxel general there's the settings um, don't know how you might want to tweak those but this is what I got <laughs> so you can just copy that if you want um, your voxel graph generator will of course need the gener you know the the math to generate the landscape um, I'll just kind of pause here for a moment in case you haven't done this part yet you can just kind of copy this it's basically all you see here and that's what you need to generate your landscape uh, things like frequency generate the height or the randomness of the height and uh, I'm not exactly sure like you know <laughs> the precise uh, uh, function but they have to do with the height and the amplitude and they you know how sharp or smooth different things are um, so yeah that's basically what you set up like so. I'll zoom in a little bit in case anybody wants to look at that closer. Um, yeah, that's all there is to it. So you get these nodes just by, you know, right clicking, for example, land. Uh, what is Z? Z is Z. Is Z. I, don't, I don't remember what Z is. <laughs> I don't think any of these have any special. I don't think any of these have anything, any special configurations. Frequencies, of course. Uh, the number you see here is 00075, and uh, that is, yeah, that's basically, it's basically just what it looks like. Um, so here's the part that you're probably here for. Uh, at the end of, of kind of setting up the landscape, here's where we start setting up the material layers. Um, this is how I've done it. There might be a better way to do it, but this is how I've got it, got it to work for me. So basically what this is saying is if the height of the landscape is less than six, six units of whatever, I don't know what, but six, six, <laughs> and six is about so high for me, right where you see that beach layer. Uh, if it is um, less than six, uh, then add a multi-index, okay? And so the index I'm adding in this case is one, index one, right? So I'm adding that because that is my wet sand layer. So I basically just look and see what my index is here. If it's one, I come on over to here, I type in one. All right, so if it's not that, if, it's that, if that's false, now I'm going to check is if land is uh, less than 50, but higher than six. So this is my next layer up. This is my purple layer right here. Um, so I'll just, I'll just pause here. This is as far as I've gotten so far, and this has created the three layers for me, and the red is actually my, my index material that I haven't done yet, so don't pay any attention to that because I'm just kind of building up layer by layer. Um, but yeah, that should be all you need. So like I say, this is uh, uh, my you know, second layer, index two, index three, and yeah, all you do is you know, search for the node, add multi-index or whatever. Um, there might be a better way to write this up, but this is the way I've done it. This is the way it's working for me. And yeah, I'll just leave it there. You guys can pause the video and kind of copy that out. And I, yeah, I basically think that's all there is to the uh, setup of, of the layers for your voxel landscape. Now, of course, I believe the rest would be done in your material in regards to like, um, you know, uh, sharp uh, st slope and... Uh, material blends and, you know, rock level if it's this steep or dirt if it's that steep and stuff, you know, all the different stuff. Uh, this is not a tutorial about setting up textures because, frankly, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> so I'm sort of going to figure out next. Um, but yeah, that is how to set up the sort of basic voxel landscape to be ready to receive your materials. And yeah, you can, um, as far as I know, you can divide up as many uh, sections as you want, so you could have like your wet sand, your dry sand, your etc, etc, etc. In regards to the one other thing, which is the material cache, I have no idea what this is and what it does. It is, it is there, I haven't done anything to it, it just appears on its own, so yeah, I don't know what that does, but it doesn't seem to matter. So there you go, hope somebody has been helped by this video, and well, if not, well, you'll remind me how to do it later in case I forget. <laughs>